Hi, this is Christoph Aschonen from Noble Master Games. Today I'm going to talk about Mayan Tech, which is all about um, decoy and portals. Let's see what they can do. Um, when you played the tutorial number two, you already saw that you can build them. Um, portals and how they work, I'm not going to repeat that. Um, just maybe one note, portals use a lot of power if you don't want to drain your energy grid, maybe just um, right click or disable the portal and turn it back on when you need it. So next, um, the mines can build a lot of decoy um, objects. Um, for example, you have a decoy turret, which just shoots blanks. It's a little bit cheaper, more, quite a lot cheaper than the regular turrets. But it can uh, draw, for example, enemy fire, which um, and they regenerate usually too. So, I mean, they may be not def um, damaging the enemy, but if you have a regular turret next to it, maybe less fire gets drawn to the regular turret and your decoy turret gets attacked. 50% of the time. There's also transformer turret that can be moved to hiding. It doesn't need power, which is an advantage. Otherwise, it's not that strong. Also, we have decoy landmines, which look like regular landmines, but are not actual landmines. Um, what uh, mines can build also is uh, nuclear landmines, which explode on the on uh, on contact and have uh, give a lot of a lot of damage actually and then we have also a similar an EMP landmine which stuns enemies let's speed up building a little bit and for the nuclear landmine uh, it's turned off by default you can turn it on that it reacts to enemy forces in the area but what you can also do you can make it explode directly and the same with the EMP landmine, you can make it explode and detonate directly and stun everything in the area. Rather than waiting for the enemy to approach, so you can time it and wait until it's the right time. And here the transformer turret, you can put it into hiding. So it looks like a rock. It should actually... Uh, transform back into a turret once it's attacked, but usually nobody attacks it because it looks like a rock at the moment. Yeah, it's all to distract the enemy. Um, here we have the decoy factory, I'll show you later how it looks. That's down the one down there, I already built it. Air structures, we have the portal relay. And also we have radar, orbital radar. Which... Um, is here the orbital radar you can use it here you can uncover any territory for a few seconds and then the orbital radar is gone so we see where the enemy is at the moment with the orbital radar what they're building and now it's gone uh, it helps maybe to send nukes as soon as you did uh, detect where the enemy is you can send nukes right away Very. Uh, then infrastructure. We have a lot of goodies like stuff we can build to um, fool the enemy. That's a booby trapped um, loot crate. We can you shouldn't open it because it explodes. With the commander robot there's not much damage but with other troops there is. Also we have the same booby trapped EMP loot crate or a booby trapped um, nuke loot crate. Um, you don't want uh, to be in the area when the enemy opens it either. And also what we have is we have a willow tree and you're wondering why should I plant trees? And I mean you, what you can do is you can use it to hide locations for example of your mines, land mines exactly, or other locations you don't want the enemy to see that easily. You can use those trees to plant them. They're cheap too, and it's good for the environment, um, maybe not in the game. 
Um, that's it for things we can build, structures and stuff. Then here we can build dogs. I mean the mines are also good with animals. They have like a dogs and dolphins, you see that later. And also we have a nurse. Here for example we have three wounded soldiers and the nurse the same as the robo mechanic. Um, the nurse heals uh, human troops and I think dogs probably too. I'm not sure anymore about it. So now the soldier gets healed, all the three soldiers gonna get healed by the nurse over there. And next here we don't have anything special in robotics. Here it's also pretty much the same in engineering. Uh, then here's our decoy factory. Um, what we have, we have a superiority tank which is really strong. It does, is able to attack ground and also the air. We have shell for ground attack and missiles for air attack so it can defend against both at the same time. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular tank, but it's very nice to have. Then we have a holographic battle tank and a holographic missile tank. They look like uh, regular tanks, but they're just holograms. I mean, they look to us like holograms, but they just look like regular tanks to the enemy. So when the tank gets attacked, it uh, becomes visible as a hologram, but the hologram regenerates. So the same with the hologram turret, you can use it to catch enemy fire. Um, if you have a regular tank at the same time, the enemy will attack both the hologram tank and the regular tank because it doesn't know who is who. Only we know it and our allies of course. Then we also have a transformer tank, it looks like a a mining vehicle. You could maybe move it close to the enemy and they might not suspect it's a it's an actual tank. It's not that strong but it could probably be used to distract the enemy for a little bit thinking oh yes it's just a mining vehicle. It has a red dot to indicate it's a transformer tank to us but it looks like a regular mining vehicle to uh, harvester to the enemy. And then we already saw the folded teleporter that we can move into position and then move troops there right away. And there's also the folder bypass and it's uh, used to draw energy from an enemy grid. So here's the folder teleporter and you know already how it works. You just, um, for example, here you, you unfold it and then yet, for example, you could set the teleportation from from here to there. And every teleportation costs uh, matter, so it's not free. And here's the folder power bypass, and you're wondering, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't use it on your own troops. You should use it on enemy troops, uh, enemy bases. You can uh, shut down the power grid. So you move it into position to, um, for example, enemy power pole and uh, then it transform it and it looks like a um, accumulator but what it does is it drains a lot of energy we are still at 100% but if we wait long enough until our regular accumulators are used up suddenly we, we stop the enemy power grid and it's a little bit difficult to detect because it looks like a regular NM um, accumulator once it's converted. And we can transform it back so it disconnects from the grid. And now we have regular power again. And now our regular accumulators are charging again. Like other than that we have a uh, EA Ballistic EMP. I think that's the only faction that has one and we can uh, shoot it to the enemy. What we also have is special troops for uh, for water, for the oceans. We have a ballistic tactical submarine that has ballistic nukes that we can shoot at. Um, we also have a speedboat 
and that could be for example used to ferry a um, flag for capture the flag otherwise the speedboats are not that strong and if a dolphin can laser which um, is good against the ships or an EMP dolphin which can stun a ship for example it might be nice to use them in combination against enemy ships and here the enemy submarine uh, not the enemy the tactical submarine you might want to move it somewhere where it cannot be found because it can attack from everywhere uh, but it needs a target unless we have a target we can just shoot the ballistic missile and here are flipper one and flipper two and in addition we also have a radar ship which has a lo large radar range and can also see um, uh, the like cloak troops, troops in the vicinity so if you want to attack with ships might be nice to have one in the um, while you trying to move to enemy enemy location and now to show you how the tactical submarine works even we can build a red orbital radar we can maybe turn on the orbital radar hold on let's put the submarine into one squad turn on the orbital radar and now we can use the um, tactical submarine to launch a nuke the thing is the radar is gone but I mean the nuke still gonna go to that location uh, we won't probably see anything and uh, looks like it's been shot down so it didn't make it far so better luck next time and yes that's uh, the overview for the Mayan technology I mean the weapons are a little bit weaker but I mean they have a lot of options um, decoy portals that you can use to distract the enemy and uh, thanks for watching